What's up everybody, I'm Matt Gary, and in this episode of Coding with the Fours, we're gonna go over what a switch statement is in Apex. We'll figure out what it is, when to use it, why it's useful, and most importantly, we'll do an example in Apex together. All right, everybody, welcome back to this Apex Masterclass tutorial series. Today, we are gonna take a look at switch statements in Apex. We'll figure out what they are, when to use them, why to use them, and we'll do an example together in Apex, just like always. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, before we get into switch statements, make sure if you actually enjoy this video to like it, because when you do, it helps this video get out to more people just like you who wanna learn about this content for free. Too. So you enjoy the video, like it, let's get back to switch statements. All right, so what is a switch statement? Um, I kind of like to think of a switch statement as uh, almost a more simplified version of a conditional statement or an if statement, an else, else if statement. Um, and that's because when you're using a switch statement, you are checking for conditions, much like in a conditional statement, but you're normally only looking to see if a single variable has a specific value, right? So you're evaluating a single variable instead of potentially multiple variables. I know in our conditionals, one, we, we're only really evaluating this one contact variable, but you can evaluate tons of different uh, variables within here if you wanted uh, to see if variable one and two both matched something or whatever else, right? Um, but with switch statements, it's a little more uh, refined, I guess, or, or or specific to that one one variable. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna create another class and we'll call it switch <coughs> statement, whoop, statement example and I'm gonna zoom in so that it's not impossible to read and I'm going to say public static string ooh, string uh, switch example and I'm going to pass in uh, we'll just say an integer integer int Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna make it I. Okay, and we'll do a switch statement. So a switch statement is a little bit different than that if else statement. Basically, the way that you're gonna start it is you're gonna say switch on I. And then we're gonna create a block like so, and we'll say when, essentially what we're saying is when the integer i is equal to two, then return, wow, or something, right? We're gonna return a string of wow. Um, when the integer is three, four, or five, we'll return, whoa. <laughs> and when, uh, when else we're gonna return bruh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, okay, so essentially what we're doing here, right, is we're passing in this integer to this method and we're saying we're gonna, we're gonna evaluate or we're gonna switch on i, so we're gonna evaluate the variable i and when the variable i is equal to two, we're gonna return the string wow. When the variable i is equal to three, four, or five, we're going to return whoa. And anything else, when, when the variable i is anything else, we're gonna return bruh. <laughs> so, you know, anyway, so, so we've got that, right? So so now we've got this set up. You can see it's kind of similar to our conditional statement where it's like if, else, if, else, right? It's kind of like an 
if it's two, if it's three, four, or five, else. But in uh, you know the the main difference here is that this if statement could evaluate multiple variables. If I wanted to to pull in another one, uh, then we could evaluate it here, right? Um, in, in the same if block. But in the switch statement, we are only evaluating a single variable. And um, that's really how you should use switches, uh, if you choose to use them. And um, so let's just check this out, right? So we're going to now call uh, switch statement example. Actually, I need to save this. Otherwise, it's not going to run it because <laughs> it won't exist technically. And um, we're going to switch and we're going to pass in the number two and we'll see what happens. And uh, we can see, oh, actually, I didn't uh, put this in a debug log, so we're not going to see anything. Uh, instead, we'll say, <laughs> the method returned like so. So now we've got a debug that will actually print us out something. And we passed it in two. The method returned wow. And you can see when it's two, it returns wow. If we passed in three, we should get whoa. And we did, right? When it's three, four, five, we get whoa. Um, we'll say five just to make sure that that's actually working to prove that that comma delineation there actually works. You can see that it still returned whoa even when we passed in five. And now if we pass in the value six, we are going to whoa, uh, we are gonna see the words bruh, which is almost getting uh, some of the H's are getting cut off by my face, which is sad, but. Uh, I guess the woe did too. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, a switch is much like an if statement, but unlike an if statement, it only evaluates a single variable instead of potentially infinite variables. Um, that said, much like with if statements, these can get out of hand. Um, just to be super clear, before I get in the out of hand part, you only have to have one win condition. You don't need the win else. That is optional. You don't need a second win. You don't need any of that. You just need this first win, and you need the first switch up here. So back to what I was going to say. Um, these can, just like conditional statements, get way, way, way out of hand. Um, people will do crazy switch statements that should not be done. And in the last video, I talked about how, you know, we're going to go over the concept of clean code more. But just to give you a little bit of insight into that, if you're having a lot of switch statements, uh, you know, with, with lots and lots of switching, or you've got a conditional statement with lots and lots of conditions, you might want to look into the concept of polymorphism because it will make your code so much better, despite the fact it's a little bit challenging of a concept to grasp in comparison to a switch statement or an if else statement, right? But again, we're going to go over the concept of polymorphism and clean code and all that kind of stuff later in this series. So you'll see how to make a much more beautiful version of a switch uh, than I'm showing you here, or a much more clean version of a, a conditional statement than what I showed you in the last episode. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really, really hope I see you in the next one.